everyone, so this is Victoria Suzanne from Lolita Charm and I wanted to make a vlog just to sort of get back on the saddle of my YouTube channel and I decided to do a couple more just, you know, person to person talking on the camera see if maybe I could get back into that and really connect more with my readers, with my subscribers, something like that and just little stuff, I'm not going to be doing anything heavy so Sit back, relax, take a chill. Um, so the first two things that I'm going to talk about are just frilly things, but I thought that you guys might be interested, which is <laughs> I colored my hair again. Um, you can see this part is the older growth that's more of a seashell color, and then up here it's a lot pinker. And, um, and I put a bunch of blonde back in. But I copied this hairstyle out of the Lolita Bible. I know it's a little different. I saw it on an Innocent World model and it's just a high ponytail that I sort of fan out and prop up with bobby pins and then you just curl all of it. And then you can put like this huge bow in the middle. And if you like this one, this one is by 6% Doki Doki but I overpaid for this bow and if you don't want to I would say go to Choco Mint because either they make replicas or 6% is making replicas, but either way you can get like almost exactly the same thing for, god, I want to say $25 less or something, which is, which is heinous. So the other thing I want to talk about is this is my bow Hello, which I talked about on my blog um, as part of the It's Your Castle series, and I did make this myself. And I'm going to preface this with saying, you know, I'm a horrible sewer. I, I'm awful. Sometimes I can't sew a straight line. And I did manage to make this pillow. So I'm sure that if I can do it, you can do it. I promise. And um, just basic instruction is I took a toddler pillow, which is a lot thinner and smaller. And I cut it in half so that it's about this big. Um, cut it in half and then just stitched it up and then sealed it inside this pink fabric. It's sort of a silky pink that I got on sale for like $10 a yard and I only needed a yard of it and I could almost make two out of one yard. So if you want to be a little smaller you could definitely make a couple out of one yard. And then you sew a belt which I've sort of, you know, made to look a little oddly gathered here on purpose to make it look like a bow. And then you stitch it up here in the back. And that's about it. But the only thing I would say to be careful of is there's two things, which is this fabric is slippery. If you decide to go with a pink silk like this, it is slippery and you really have to, you know, be careful how you sew it. And the other thing is when you're sewing this belt together, it can be a little too thick and my sewing machine is really old and it jammed and I had to finish this off very badly by hand so if you were looking at my stitches going oh my god what has this girl done you know that's why <laughs> um, but it is a really cute final product and you can definitely do this in an evening like I sat down without a plan and did this in a couple hours but if you follow like an idea of what you're doing aka my tutorial and just sort of go with it, then this could take you like an hour, especially if you know what you're doing with a sewing machine, which I really don't, but it's really cute and you know, you can decorate your bed with it or your sofa and you know, it's really sweet. Um, so the other thing is people have asked me about hair tutorials for getting my curls to sort of do that that giant ringlet pigtail. Um, I was thinking of making a video so if you're interested in learning those those giant ringlets that I did with my um, Puta Moyo dress then just leave a comment and I will get right on that. It's really easy. It's really easy. <laughs> you know I am I am not a hair wizard. I'm not a makeup wizard. I'm not a sewing wizard. It's amazing that I can participate in this fashion at all. But, you know, this is a really easy hairstyle if you want to have those big, like, double barrel appearance ringlets. And I don't do them with a huge curling iron because I'm just, you know, terrified of those, you know, I have a two inch curling iron that looks like this. 
and I'm terrified of it and my hair always sort of melts when I use it. So I don't use that. It's really easy if you want to see how. So that's about it for now.